Listen, we knew this was going to be an award show like no other, but the pandemic took the virtual insanity to a new level. Records were set and there were plenty of surprises. So let's go. The Emmy goes to Zendaya Euphoria. <laughs> Zendaya, Jennifer Aniston's jaw dropped when you won. She was cheering you on. How does that feel? Oh gosh, it means uh, it means so much to me. I think uh, every single, you know, woman in that category, I obviously admire immensely. Jen was thrilled for Zendaya, but if she needs a little consoling, hi Aniston, hi Pitt. There's always Brad. Yep, the Oscar winner was up for a guest star Emmy on Saturday. Brad Pitt as Dr. Anthony Fauci, but lost to Eddie Murphy. Jen was on site at Staples sharing this behind the scenes before going home for a mini friends reunion. Look at this, Courtney Cox, Courtney's there? Yeah, of course I'm here. We live together. Uh, yeah, we've been roommates since 1994, Jimmy. But I Hello. thought that was, oh, I had no idea. Is, is, is this live TV? Unbelievable. Hey. Miss Lisa Kudrow, you lived there too? Yeah, where else would I live? Jen also shared a few Emmy night secrets, her pre-show mask, hairdresser touch-ups, and the after party with her pups wearing pearls, Clyde and Sophie. Zendaya's win was a well-deserved surprise, but in our book, the 24-year-old deserves another award, Best Emmy Reaction. How are you because you almost fell off that chair when you heard your name called? I'm doing well, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> What does this moment mean to you? Because you are now the youngest woman to win in that lead actress category. Oh, it's, I mean, beyond, I, I just, I don't even know how to describe how I feel right now. We've been there for Zendaya's incredible transformation. Jet packing with her as a teenager and a decade before her edgy role in Euphoria, she was dancing and giggling in her first ET interview back in 2010. I did um, hip hop dance. Um, which was a lot of choreography when I was about eight. Now to another historic surprise. Schitt's Creek! Schitt's Creek! Schitt's Creek. A record-setting nine awards tonight. Oh, yeah. Holy cow. I mean, to me, it means that the work that everybody has put in over six years has, you know, paid off royally. Dan Levy and his dad, Eugene, also become the first father-son duo to win Emmys in the same year. Daniel Levy, who took our show and brilliantly guided it. The best thing uh, about it is I get to work with my boy here, which is absolutely great. And I was gonna say there's a comfort level in the communication. This was Catherine O'Hara's second Emmy. Her last was 38 years ago when she and Eugene won as writers on SCTV. Does this mean that there will be some kind of return or maybe a movie? We went out on a good note, um, and it would take a really freaking good idea to top whatever just happened right now. Have you checked right your now, inbox, so... though? Because a couple people here may have sent a few right. ideas. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. TBD, yeah. We'll, we'll continue the conversation, I guess, tomorrow. And where's the guy in the hazmat suit who gave out all those awards? Did he just come to Canada? He came with a lot of awards up there. It was actually it was a, a lovely lady. It was yeah. a lady. And she's still here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the poor hazmat suit just completely fogged up, and I watched her panic before each award going out. Just trying to, like, clear the hazmat suit so that she could see her way to the podium. <laughs> she probably just partied with them all night. Today, we spoke with a hazmat guy stationed at Reese Witherspoon's house wearing one of 27 custom-made tuxedos from this costume designer. It's like a plastic pleather, as you can see. Um, and we just did the two-tone with the shine to give you, like, the shawl collar of the tuxedo. We wanted everybody to have a good laugh, you know? If you won or you lost, you got to have a good giggle when they came and went. No matter if you win or lose, there's someone outside or in your home with an award. So what did Carrie's face look like as you walked away? This is Chris, Hello, Chris. in the hazmat suit. Billy Porter and Rachel Brosnahan didn't win, but invited theirs in. Rami Youssef simply got a goodbye wave from his. 